Okay, what you're looking at here is a multi-cam 3000 plasma table with a hypertherm, hypertherm HT2000 torch. This is a high speed torch. This is the, uh, the main body of the torch with your gas mixing console and then you also find your amperage control box there right to the, to the right side of the gas mixing console. Go back to the table. You have a handheld device right here. This handheld device, uh, do all your homing and controls, cut basic shapes, and, and I'll show you some of those uh, features in a second. Uh, here is the actual torch head itself. Uh, this torch has got automa automatic height control. Uh, if you're cutting thin gauge sheet metal, there's any variances in the metal, the torch senses that and keeps a consistent height throughout the cut. Uh, this torch is also zoned in four sections and uh, of course a lot of the slats are out of it right now uh, but as you can see uh, there's a door here these doors are automatic for the downdraft feature depending on what zone you're cutting in these doors will open up and allow you to pull that exhaust out the exhaust hookup is right here um, there's several ways you can hook the exhaust up uh, a lot of people use like an inline fan and plume it out of the building um, uh, so there, there, there's uh, several variances between uh, what you can do with the exhaust. So we'll walk over here and we'll begin to uh, get ready to cut this uh, material here. We've got a quarter inch plate on the table. We also have a piece of half inch plate. And we'll cut a couple shapes and, and uh, show you how that works. Okay, I just mixed the gas, but to go ahead and show you what it takes to mix the gas, uh, you'll have a cut chart. Uh, and on that cut chart, it's going to show you based on what material you're uh, you're cutting. We're, we're cutting with uh, high speed 200 amps right now, uh, and then it's going to give us a guideline based on thickness. That's what we're going to set our oxygen and nitrogen. And it's nothing more than uh, clicking right here over to test preflow, and then you can adjust your knobs down at the bottom to to set your your mixture. Uh, you let that pre-lube for about 30 seconds and then you flip it over to a test cut flow where you'll set your oxygen your shield gas uh, of course we got everything set right now and then when you've got everything mixed you're going to hit run now as we come over here to the table we're going to first cut on this quarter inch plate <coughs> excuse me and we're going to have to set a home <coughs> basically that home is just the starting point of where the torch is cutting and once again, I'm showing you everything that's, that's involved with the handheld device, not the actual uh, nesting software. But if we go to here, uh, we're going we're gonna to start a cut right there. And, and so I'm going to uh, set that as my home for that cut. And we're going to call that home number one. I mean, you can set up to ten homes on this, so you, you can have several start points. Um, as it says right here, uh, you can see at the bottom we're cutting mild steel O2 and it's quarter inch plate. I'm going to go to menus. In the menus feature I have a cut utilities. Under cut utilities it lists all my basic shapes that I can cut just right off the handheld device here. You can see a circle, square, rectangular, uh, polygons, flanges, rip cuts or just straight cuts if you're just trying to part off a piece of material. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a square. We're going to go down here to the square. And it's going to ask the length of sides. So we're, we're going to do something like a, a four inch. And then you've got an option here to start. You can scroll down one and you can enter a dry run. Now by doing that dry run, it's going to allow you to watch the pattern of the torch. And you can make sure you're on the, on the plate and, and where you're at. So we've done that dry run. Looks like we're going to be good. So we'll just go back, winter through, and we'll execute the action. And now we have our four inch by four inch square, which has uh, fell down into the table there because we don't have a lot of slats in here. 
Um, as you can see, the cut is, is pretty nice. This is a, a piece of four inch square that I just cut prior to this. This is the bottom half of the plate on quarter inch. As you can see, there's uh, hardly any dross or slag on there. There's a couple little pieces here that, that flake right off with your finger. Um, so that, that's kind of the cut quality that you get with the high speed. Uh, not, not, not hardly any bevel as you can tell down the side of this piece. So we'll move over to cut a piece of half inch. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is uh, move my torch over and we're going to jog it here to the plate. Going to find us a good spot to start, and then once again, we're gonna we're gonna call this uh, home one. Now our torch knows we're gonna start right there. What we're gonna do here is we'll go to uh, our materials library because we're not cutting quarter inch anymore, and we're using mild steel O2 air. So as I select that. We're always cutting shielded. So it's going to ask me for my amperage and my thickness. Now we're going to move over here. And we're going to go up to half inch. And we'll hit OK. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's now changed to half inch material. We'll go back to menu, cut utilities. We're going to do a rectangle. Uh, length of the first side will go four inches. Length of the Y side, we'll set that at three inches. And we want to uh, just do a dry run, make sure we're, we're in good position. And it looks like we are. So now we'll, we'll go back and, and tell it to cut this piece. It was four by three. And we're going to execute the action. finished. See if we can uh, reach down here and grab this part. So as you can see here is the, the bottom half of the part. Very low dross. Uh, clean cut with the plasma. Um, that's the half inch part. Uh, once again this is a multi-cam 3000 plasma. There is a cam program that comes with this uh, machine that will allow you to nest and draw custom parts. Uh, it's basically networked out here off of a laptop and uh, the laptop and the program comes with the machine will allow you to nest and set materials. Uh, so for any more questions uh, feel free to uh, to, to notify the persons uh, to be and, and we'll answer them as we can. Thank you.